Hello, my beautiful manifestors. Welcome to day two of Manifestation Basics. So I do apologize uh, for the two day lag. I really wanna be posting these videos every day because the point of it is to get you into that zone, get you into that consistent feeling of manifesting your desires, getting your mind off of everything that's going on outside. Um, and really, each day's exercise is building upon the last. So I hope you did day one's exercise, which was getting all the shit out. Everything that you hate right now, everything that's going wrong in your life, or everything that you really are struggling with. And I wanted you to make it more not coronavirus related because the point of the series is to let you remember and reinvigorate you why you got into law of attraction to begin with that you're still a powerful manifester and your dream life still matters right your dream life is still going to be waiting for you and this is the perfect time to do all these self-development activities all these manifestation rituals to really call it in so i'm going to be doing this for as long as we need it right okay so day one was clearing everything out so we can start with a blank slate Today, we're going to start writing about our desires and really thinking about them. So how often do you honestly think about your goals and desires? Most people don't do it. Most people will write their list of goals on January 1st and some of them, you know, they might be able to cross off, but usually they forget about them. Uh, maybe people have small goals uh, that are just as important. They're definitely just as important, but I'm talking about like just big, big, big dream life goals. What do you want your dream life to look like? And it's okay to have desires right now. It's okay to have goals right now. It's okay to think outside of what's going on in the world, right? It's a very scary time and we're so anxious. So what I want this exercise to do is really take you away from that. It's going to take your mind off of it. It's gonna remind you why you got into the law of attraction to begin with, why you love manifesting so much, and how powerful you truly are. We're always manifesting, I say that all the time. No matter what, it's not something that you learn, but you can learn to do it deliberately. No matter what, your thoughts, your feelings, your vibrations have created your current situation. So what I am teaching you is how to do it deliberately to create a situation that you love, a life that you love, because you do deserve it all. We are gonna get through this. There's going to be an end to this. And, and at the end of this, don't you wanna be that much more clear on your dream life and calling it in already? Okay, so today, I want you to do a list of desires and goals. Write down absolutely everything you want, everything. Uh, there's no time frame. I don't like time frames uh, with this exercise. I just want you to write down everything you want to expand your mind. If you want uh, the Ferrari, the Porsche, whatever gorgeous car, if you want to be married and have five kids, if you want the beautiful mansion, uh, if you want to travel the world, just write all these things down, anything you truly, truly, truly desire. So what this exercise does is it's going to start, it's gonna help you to start thinking about everything that's really out there. Um, and this is what's going to pave the way for your dream life creation process. Now, a lot of you might be already into this. Um, and even if you are, you need to come back to this exercise. I like to do the be, do, and have list. And I was taught very early on in my manifestation journey, 10 plus years ago, I was taught to do a goals list and a be, do, and have list specifically every single week do it every week because the more and more that we write it down, the more and more that we think about our goals and our desires, the quicker they're going to manifest into our reality, right? Because our minds are on them. We feel happy and excited when we think about them. It's great. It's amazing. This is a beautiful life that I could potentially have. So you're thinking about it consistently and it will come in to your reality a lot quicker. Uh, I have a free be, do, and have list template. It's at the freebie vault at the link in my bio. I'm going to post um, the instructions, I guess, underneath the video. I'm looking at the time right now because I don't want to go over too much. We're actually, <laughs> I think I'm talking a little too fast. So I was always taught to write down my desires and write them down consistently. And it's good to have goals for certain periods of time, right? So like I'll do my my one month goals. I'm working on a free monthly goals uh, manifestation and goal setting planner for you guys. So that's for one month goals. It's also great to have quarterly goals. It, whatever you feel like doing, that's the point. Everybody's different. Everybody is different. So, so whatever you really feel called to do. But the reason I love this exercise is because you have no limit 
There is absolutely no limit to what you desire. So the Be, Do, and Have list is more like, just kind of like a bucket list maybe, um, if that's what you want it to be. Unless you want it to be maybe a year long, then do your year long goals and desires for your Be, Do, Have list. Whatever you want it to be, whatever feels best to you. You need to do what feels best to you, all right? So whatever I say, whatever I teach you, you gotta just take the things that really call to you because it's your life, you create it, you're in the driver's seat. And now it's time for us to really take our power back at a time where so much of us, so many of us are scared. Um, so I really want you to just go imagine the best, greatest life that you could think of, all of your desires. It's not selfish. You're, you're, not, you're not being selfish, especially not now because we're trying to set the blueprint for everything that's going to come after. All right, tag me and show me the work that you're doing because I love to celebrate your wins with you guys. Everyone's doing fantastic already. I've seen so much amazing, beautiful, beautiful work. You guys are amazing and we're gonna get through this, I promise. So after today, we're gonna start to get into like real manifesting exercises, things I love to do. We're gonna do a big decluttering. Uh, I think it's tomorrow. I'm pretty sure the decluttering exercise is tomorrow. Um, and what that's going to do is basically you wanna get rid of everything that's not part of your dream life, that's not part of your next level. And we're gonna actually do things that are gonna to start to call in your desires and your dream life. You can be, do, and have whatever you want. So go make your lists. I wanna see your lists. Make them as amazing, abundant as you possibly can. I wanna see them. I can't wait to see them. Tag me. I'll talk to you guys later and check my stories for updates, um, especially on the Manifestation Basics series. I don't know when it's gonna end. It'll end when we need it to end, right? Everything is in divine timing. See you guys tomorrow. Definitely tomorrow. I actually, I swear, tomorrow. Really tomorrow.